very freedom we want to enjoy ourselves from other people. I mean, black people at our best have never been about restricting other people's freedoms. Here we are now joining this anti-gay marriage. If you don't want gay marriage, don't marry nobody gay. <laughs> other than that, let live and let live. Why are you tripping? Then you, right, because then you talk about, well, it ain't the same as us black people, because I can, you know, and I've already told you that, choose to be, uh, choose to be gay. They chose to be gay. You can't no more get up and be straight tomorrow morning than a gay person, can, uh, or gay, I should say, a gay, gay person get up and be straight. And if you can, I've helped you out. I hope you understand who you are. <laughs> Accept yourself. All right. <laughs> but my point is, I know we gotta go. My point is this. My point is this, though. If you are a person of color and you've been victimized by oppression, don't turn around and do the same thing to somebody else. Don't go. step on somebody else's neck. This go. is the kind of self-criticism that we need to practice. And ultimately, yes. then all of us will be able to tell the truth about what we feel and believe and have open, honest conversation where we're entitled to say our piece without being called a racist, without being read out of the country as anti-American. I'm tired of George, the, the, the kind of right-wing Republicans thinking that because I criticize America, I don't love America. I ain't never had no flag and try to secede, try to leave the nation, got no Confederate flag on my car. I'm an American, but I reserve the right to criticize America because I love America. I'm not anti-American. I love the nation enough to tell the truth. That's like saying, I love my child. I will not criticize it. Yes, you will if you love your child. You will correct your child. Now, we're not saying that the nation is a child, but we are saying that if we are invested in that, we ought to love it enough to tell the truth. And so I think uh, that's what I would say to young people. Graduate, learn to have open, honest conversation, be self-critical, and then figure out a way for us to come together in that kind of honest, open dialogue, not denying history, not pretending that we don't know what we know, not pretending that some people have had it far better than others. Even on the Titanic, the folk who got out first were the ones upstairs, not the ones locked down uh. in second and third class. It does make a difference where you be. Uh. It, it, it do be making a difference where you are, uh. if, 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 except if you're on a plane. Now, if you're on a plane, first class shaking just like the, the, <laughs> the back in the back. You on turbulence, all y'all. Everybody's shaking. You might be shaking with your filet mignon in first class, and the peanuts uh. people shaking back there, and uh. everybody damn shaking, right? And ultimately, that's the point we're going to understand. We want to thank Dr. Dyson and Dr. Dyson for your seat today. Can you get one more round of applause?